This week we learned Michigan would be losing a seat in Congress because of our census tally. Yeah, the state population did grow by 2%, but that's not enough to keep the congressional seat. Grant Herms speaks to an expert about what this means for Michigan's future in Washington. Well, it's no secret Michigan is important when it comes to national politics, but as we're set to lose a seat in Congress, there are some things at stake for how much Michigan may matter in the next big election. New census numbers show Michigan's population actually grew in the last 10 years, but it wasn't enough to hold on to one of the state's 14 seats in Congress, continuing a trend going back 40 years. Michigan has lost a seat in every census since 1980, but in recent years, Michigan has become a swing state, a coveted prize in presidential politics. But could the road to the White House be closed when it comes to Michigan after losing that seat in Congress? Michigan's still uh, in a, an important swing state in an important region of, of the country uh, in presidential races. Uh, so I, I don't think that that will translate into a direct, you know, uh, lack of interest um, in Michigan. Robert Yoon is a lecturer at the University of Michigan and was CNN's political research director for nearly 20 years. I think that the effect will more be in terms of, you know, the actual bread and butter results in terms of what the representatives can do for the state and Congress. And it's not just Michigan, the rest of the Great Lakes region also taking a hit. Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Illinois all losing a seat. But Yoon says the Rust Belt isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Michigan and Ohio are rivals in, uh, in a lot of things. But demographically and in terms of you know, the economy, the states of the Midwest have a lot in common. They have more in common than, than they don't. When the states of the region are losing political power, or losing a voice in Congress, that affects the whole region. We don't know which district will be scrapped just yet. Yoon thinks it might be one of the two from Detroit or more likely Democrat Dan Kildee's district in the thumb. That'll be up to the state's independent redistricting commission. They meet again this week in Detroit. Grant Herms, Local 4.